Senator, you just wrapped up your first major floor speech there in the Senate, uh, highlighting a major topic, health care. Uh, tell me why that was your first choice as, as to that speech. Well, I can tell you that all across Nevada, like I said in my speech, I talked to parents, grandparents, kids, everybody's so worried about their health care, pre-existing conditions, and I know that kitchen tables across America all have that same worry. So I believe that's one of the reasons that I'm here to fight to protect people's health care, the health care of the ones we love, and so I was so proud to put that uh, in my maiden speech. Well, you, you brought up a resolution. You asked uh, for a resolution that mm -hmm. you're co-sponsoring with Senator Manchin to defend the constitutionality mm -hmm. of the ACA. We know that uh, some things are happening with the Trump administration in court uh, to, right. to argue whether or not it is constitutional. So tell me a little bit about uh, uh, that resolution that you're asking for. Well, last year in the House, I led the resolution for us to protect the constitutionality of the Affordable Care Act. Of course, that didn't pass last session. It has been reintroduced in the House this session. I believe it's been passed. And Senator Manchin was the lead on that last Senate uh, session. And so I joined Senator Manchin this session to have a sign on to the lawsuit to let our Department of Justice allow us to defend the constitutionality of the Affordable Care Act. What that means is that this administration is putting everyone's health care under, under attack. It's sabotaging everything we have. They want to repeal it all through the courts with no replacement. So let's be clear. They want to take away your health care with nothing to replace it. So if you're one of the millions of Americans who has a pre-existing condition, or God forbid you get sick tomorrow, and we know one diagnosis changes your life in an instant, you may not be able to get the care or the medications you need to protect yourself, your child, or your grandchild. That's unacceptable to me, and that's what I'm fighting for. Well, while I have you here, I know that you have a trip out to Nevada tomorrow, out to the uh, Nevada National Security Site with Senator Cortez Masto yes. and Secretary Perry, mm -hmm. uh, to take a look at the plutonium shipment out there from late last fall. Uh, what are you expecting out of that visit? Well, what I'm expecting is this, is that Senator Cortez Masto and myself are going to let Secretary Perry know in no uncertain terms that the two of us, the rest of the Nevada federal delegation and our statewide delegations will hold him and his department accountable for what happens to that plutonium, for any more shipments uh, coming to Nevada and that this shipment needs to leave our state safely. So we're going to talk to him and let him know where we stand and let him know that we won't let this die. And I know you can't give specifics, but are you going to be able to at least take a look at where it's being stored, how it's being stored, that kind of a thing? I believe so. Okay. Well, I appreciate it, Senator. I know you have a, a very busy day ahead on Capitol Hill, but we appreciate you taking some time for us. Thank you so much. I always, it's always a pleasure to talk to you.